This infection, it spreads like a virus. It infects unsuspecting victims, and after a while, it takes them over. It impacts many people every year, each day of the week. It tears people and communities apart. No one is safe from it, and it is demonetization. This virus, also known as that shall not be named, in order for YouTube to not demonetize my video, has been keeping a lot of people in their houses. With that, you know that a lot of people are going to be on the internet. And when people are on the internet, what they like to go to their entertainment? That's right, of course, Algabox, Algabox file sharing platform. Oh my kidding, it's YouTube where they go watch videos like Algabox mall races about viruses. The first infection mall race was great, but I felt that there was something missing with it. Sure, my last video did have some problems with the accuracy to a real pandemic, although it is a step up to other model races trying to explore the exact same topic. Okay, side note here, this was before 3 blue one brown made a video exploring the exact same topic. Let's just pretend it doesn't exist right now. There was something even bigger that wasn't mentioned in the first video, a comparison to other epidemics and pandemics. People are trying to compare these events in order to better understand where this pandemic will go. That's something a few models and simulations can do. We'll be starting off with an epidemic that was all the rage in West Africa in 2014. You probably saw all over the news, and it was quite scary. Thankfully, it didn't spread beyond the West African region. The contestant infected with the virus is now moving. With a fatality rate of around 50%, this virus is deadly. However, it does not spread through air, so it'll have a hard time infecting other contestants. Did I mention there were three of them? An infection starts once the virus has run out of hosts to infect and the contestants that are sick have left. This can happen naturally, but can be sped up with actions like social distancing. Next up on the list, we have a virus that is very similar to the one that's causing the current pandemic. It's similar in a lot of ways, to the country where it started, to the makeup of the virus itself. And the contestant is now on the course. And yes, there is another one. This virus spread quite rapidly compared to its cousin back then, but eventually slowed down. It only infected around 10,000 people, most of them being in China, with a death rate around 10%. Meanwhile, the other virus started to spread faster, which we featured later on.
This one was a real nightmare in the world of pandemics. First appearing in Mexico in 2009, this type of virus infected anywhere from 1 in 10 people to 1 in every 5 people. While its name might suggest it was spread by pigs, this was not the case. We have our first case of the virus. Its name would suggest that it spread a lot like the flu, but it was a different type of flu. Seasonal vaccines wouldn't have worked on this. Thankfully, normal influenza kills less than 0.1 people it infects, so deaths were low. We'll be back after this ad break.
Last but not least, the one that everyone knows. You probably know a lot about this, and if you do, great! If you don't, then listen in. At the time of writing on March 25th, there are nearly half a million cases, with around 2,000 dying from it. Around 100,000 have recovered though, with China, the epicenter of this pandemic, starting to recover. The contestants now can affect others. This type of virus is part of a family of viruses with the same name. This family of virus has had epidemics in the past, including some in the Middle East and some in South Korea. We'll be back after another ad break. So this non-pandemic may be something that people think you should panic about, especially when all the toilet paper, face masks, and hand sanitizers are sold out. But don't panic. If you haven't seen my previous video, check it out to see the race. There are also tips on how to stay safe during this time. Stay safe out there, and for the love of God, don't buy up all the hand sanitizer at Algomar. Talking to you, Black. Calm down, Remetibus. The virus isn't even real in Nagadu land. 